Hi guys, Brian from GoFries here and in this video, I'm going to highlight the issue about GPU mining income projection. With all due respect, I see some of you boast on Facebook that you are setting a, let's say a $10,000 rig and you're going to make 3000 a month and you're going to cut ROI in about 3 months time. Well, suffice to say, based on your post, I don't know whether um, let's just say, I think you're either ill-informed, misinformed, or just lacking of knowledge, whichever, or you're just uh, optimistic, or you maybe you are just trying to mislead people to buy the, the rigs for you so they sell up. No, seriously, guys. Your projection saying that you're going to earn the same amount every month is flaw is totally wrong. This is simply because you need to factor in that in mining there is always this thing called difficulty. Now if you, if you even make some effort to look at the difficulty chart over at whatever that's available on the, yeah, those uh, um, information websites, try Coin Wars for example, just look at the difficulty chart and go with your same mega hash per second for what let's say ethereum see how much you earn even from my own um, hash rate i calculated the week before and wait uh, yeah the week before and the week it is on the same day for example monday to monday my income is 14 there's a 14 percent difference in the income alone basically um to put it simple I know you cannot average fourteen percent and seven seven days, but kind of thing. But just let's just make it simple. You are looking at anywhere from one to two percent drop per day. It can be more. It can be less. But for the ease of discussion, I'm going to go at two percent per day, of which I did a calculation. Now, so let's get back to what um, the general misconception of coin mining income. For example. Person A says that he or she makes $30 a day and based on that calculation, it comes to 900 a month and 2007 for over, over a 3 month period. Note that I did not mention the currency because it doesn't matter. If you, find, you, if you like it, fine, we can just use USD, whatever. So basically, their projection is based on today's earning and that it lasts over the 90 day period. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It will not work that way. If you did a proper calculation, even with, let's say we based on that 2% drop per day. Day one, you're making $30. On day 90, you're actually only making less than $5. Do you know that? Basically, you are earning less every day. If you are expecting to make 2007, let's say 2700 US over a 90 day period, in the end you actually make less than 1300. But that is just based on a 2% drop of um, income per day. So it, that is just, we are talking about a 90 day period, but supposedly, what if you look at monthly? Okay. So we are talking about based on the 2% drop per day. On the first month that you expect to make 900, you are only making 681, which is 75%. On the second month that you thought that you'll be making 900, you are only making 370, around 372, which is 41%. And then on the third month that you still thought that you are making 900, sad to say you are only making 202, which is like 22%. This is based on 2% drop. Now, bear in mind that as the world goes crazy over mining and everyone's jumping into it, I just went to a shop today and I saw mining rigs being set up. Every rig having 6 GTX 1060. 6 GTX 1060 comes to, I can't remember, I think it's about 18 mega hash per second per GTX 1060, 6 gigs. Which is, uh, that's on uh, Dagger Hashimoto, so we're talking about 80 mega hash times 6, you're talking about almost 100 
mega hash per second. That's uh, and I've, I've seen quite a few rigs there. Five rigs, everyone's jumping into it. Fine, you're stopping at this time. I, I hope you see this video and then you will realize that what you think can outright in three months. Um, no, I don't think so. Not unless, not unless one, there's no breakdown on your system, your hardware, no crash, no nothing, running perfectly for 90 days. Two, that the rate or the value of the coin, whichever you're mining, rises so perfectly to match your hash rate and the difficulty that you can ROI and such. But realistically speaking, I won't bank on that. It might happen, who knows, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever has a 200-300% boom, then good for you. Seriously, that's good for you, but we're not talking about that. Bitcoin saw a raise of what, 50%? But it's not 100% or anything. Ethereum, we saw it went from 80 to 160 to, at the time of recording of this video, probably about 330, which is very good, very, very good indeed. I mean, if, if you're going by this kind of, uh, even with the raise of the price, definitely it will be better when it comes to your, your supposed ROI or projected income, but you still have to factor in the the amount of uh, the difficulty changes it gets tougher by day and as more people are pushing on for their uh, participate you probably see a steeper steeper rise of the difficulty so we are, we are looking at maybe it's not even going to be two percent it can be even four percent drop of income per day so you guys just be realistic I'm not saying that you can't do mining or these kind of things, but just be realistic. Don't quit your job to do mining. Like what I mentioned in the, the other video, you do not profit. You do not make money. You actually only make money after you have sold off this digital asset of yours or you use it for some services, whatever. At least you have to use it or convert it to cash to make it something that you can live on. You can't feed your family with digital currency. Don't quit your job for that. Side income, fine. Keep you. You can even hold on for dear life. Hope you, the and wait for it to the value to rise in the future. Fine. Go ahead, but please do not look at this as your main source of income. It is very risky you are putting a lot of money to setting up the rig and you are aren't exactly going to make it back so soon it's a it's a risky investment do it if you love coins but those who are thinking that you're going to make side income um, by spending nine thousand and just to make you know, a few thousand a month um, bear in mind you have electricity costs and your projected income is it drops as the months go all right so that's it for this uh, bubble bursting session i i hope you guys uh, understand that this is not to say that i don't like to pour cold water on people but i have to i don't like to burst your bubble but i have to why why so because gold rice is all about information I'm sharing to you my knowledge as a former miner. I used to have a rack of um, rigs. Heck, come, let me show you something. These are items that I bought some three years ago, 2014. Look, I have my riser cables. They're old, but they're functioning. Whichever type, USB type, PCIe type, the something that I can, for me to link up to PSU to power GPUs. Yep, I have it. I was a former miner. I was successful at one point until uh, things get nasty where the difficulty changes, uh, tariff for electricity went up, and I stopped mining. So suffice to say, I have mined before and I'm just telling you based on my experience that don't be optimistic, 
be, be realistic in fact if you want underestimate everything that's the way to go about it and I hope that um, I still can't say that I wish you not well isn't it ha <laughs> because yes I wish you well uh, may you may you take this information that I'm presenting to you after all like I was at go flies is all about information that I'm sharing to you so I hope that with this information it helps you make a better um, more informed decision making and that you know yeah at least you don't fall flat or run the head on into a wall have having your hopes dashed at the last minute and thinking that you know you have um, many of you go into mining because you have this aspiration of um, getting a lot of income side income like who doesn't want right side income doing nothing just leave a machine running get a few thousand a month who doesn't want that but realistically it's not as such unless who knows there's more coins that appear in the future and then everyone keep on yeah, jumping over to some other coin once uh, the difficulty is so too hard well maybe who knows i mean it can happen but the thing is i don't want to talk about things that are uncertain but i'm telling you what is certain right now so at least when you go into this journey of GPU mining, you are better prepared. At least you have something to dampen your fall, if any. Alright, we better. I mean, before going to this, don't expect everything rosy, BS, but just have a, a realistic mindset on this thing, knowing that there are challenges, there are difficulty. It could be rewarding, yes, no doubt, but there are challenges. Alright, so that's it for this video. Again, it's a uh, more than 10 minutes i i'm, I'm not i'm not the, the type they like to talk much but being one that's uh, quite interested in this topic and i see that this is something that i think i should highlight and yeah once again i i hope you enjoyed this uh this session and that this session has proved to be informative for you all right so i'll see you in my upcoming videos and thank you for watching see you